What are the benefits of going to university? I'd say the benefits are literally meeting new people that you know. Like, I know I'm going to be friends with the people I've made friends with. Like, I'm going to be ringing them up when I'm 40 years old, asking them, like, what they've been doing with their week. And I have, I have no doubt in my mind that I've made friends for life being here. But not only that, I've also learnt, obviously, the academic side of my course. And it, a lot of it is confidence. When I started university, I was really scared, really, I got really homesick a lot. And since I've been here, I just feel like a completely different person to when I first started. It's given me so much confidence. Is it worth getting a degree now? You have to pay fees. I would say it definitely depends on where you go. I think you should definitely do your research and make sure you, you know, look at all the lecturers that you might potentially have because you want a lecturer who is really passionate about what they do and they're not just coming to the end of their career and decided to do a little bit of lecturing. Because I've got some lecturers who you know they love their job and you know that they're passionate about it and it makes such a difference. And if you get a lecturer like that, then 100% is worth the money. Is it better to live at home or go away somewhere new to university? I would say I do have a couple of close friends who still live with their parents and they've loved it and consequently they've got a lot more money than me but <laughs> because I was so anxious and homesick I think it was a good thing that I sort of pushed myself a bit and see if I could manage living away from home and it was definitely the right choice, definitely. I love living with my mates and just being able to like go downstairs and hang out and watch TV and order a takeaway and stuff. It's awesome. Do you have to study hard or not really? Yes, you do. But it's it depends. Uh, there's some points where it can stress you out so much, um, and that is sort of a realistic point of university. But if you don't let it get to you too much, you can have those evenings where. For example, last night I was sat in my sitting room and there were notes and books and my laptop there. There was Pizza Hut takeaway everywhere and I had the TV on and I was doing a little bit of work, eating, and it was sort of chilled out. And I mean, it's awesome when your mates are around and you can all get together and work on a project like that together. You do have to work hard, but there are fun ways of doing that. Is there help available at university? For example, if you're disabled and you support or need help with dyslexia? Hopefully all universities have the support. I can't say for any other university other than this one, but I know University of Chichester has excellent student support system because I've actually used most of them from financial to student advisor to counselling. Like I've done it all here and it's been extremely helpful and I feel really lucky to be able to have those resources around me really. When should you start thinking about which job you want to do when you leave university? I've only sort of just set my mind on my dream job and I wish I'd taken the time out in the first year probably to just realistically think about where I want to go and what my ideal job would be so I could start getting experience sooner because um, I've only started thinking about it um, in detail in the past couple of months um, and I've been starting to get like volunteering experience on my CV already but I kind of feel like I've missed out two years where I could have been doing that beforehand so that sucks a bit but I wish I'd done that sooner yeah. Is it a good idea for students to work while they're studying at university? It depends on who you are if you're gonna get really stressed out from doing both then university should come first um, especially as you guys are paying so much money for it now like but I mean first year is it's not as difficult as the next couple of years. It's a bit more relaxed, you're just getting in, into the university. So I wish I'd got a job in first year. What else do students do at university when they are not studying? Obvious answer is partying. But um, I like it around here because there's quite a few people like me who are quite into sort of fitness and stuff. So I tend to do a lot of sort of keeping fit and that kind of thing. Um, being social, networking with people and meeting new people, whether it's at the student union on a night out or 
if in like a class or a workshop or something, there's always new people to meet at university, and we're quite a small university. And I walk pe past people every day, and I'm just like, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> there's so many people to meet. Um, but also, just like the simple things like reading, and I've become quite a good cook since, I'm not trying to barrack or anything, but since I've been in a university, started off with something that resembled cat food, and now I can cook sort of anything to paella, which is quite nice, so <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs>